Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make photo slideshows sync it to music bit. Let's do it! Let's get right into it. I'm here with a session that has one audio clip and four images for my trip to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I'm doing this with only four images to keep it simple, but you can do it with unlimited images. Now I will import the audio to my timeline, okay? And I will trim it to about eight seconds. We've got one minute of audio. Let's trim it about eight seconds. I want an image for each bar or four bits. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I want an image here, two, three, four, another one, two, three, four, one more, three, four, the final one, two, three, four. There's three ways to do it, two automatic and one manual. I recommend you to start with the automatic. If it doesn't work, you can go manual. Let's click on the audio to select it and look over here. We've got out a beat and match cut. Let's click on auto beat and we've got three options, none, beat one or beat two. There are two different algorithms of beat detection. Let's select beat one and look what just happened. It added markers here on the audio automatically. One, two, three, four, five markers. And that's exactly what I've needed, but let's click on beat two Look, now we've got a lot of markers, each marker for each image. So I guess for me, bit one, it's what I want. And now just drag your images into the timeline and look, CapCut snaps the image to these markers. So I will place each image in one different marker. I will trim the duration, image to right here, trim to the beginning of the next marker. It's that easy, folks. Let's see how we're doing. Perfect. But for this to work, make sure that auto snapping this function over here is selected. Otherwise, it won't snap your image to the markers. But let's make it better. Let's do some stuff. This image is fine, but look, there are blank spaces over here. I will click in the image. I will click on canvas and I want some blur, right? And this one, maybe. Okay, the second one, that's nicer. The third image, I will enlarge, amplify it. Nice. And the final one, I will make blur canvas like the second one. Okay, let's see now. Cool. But we can do more optional stuff. Let's add some transitions. Why not? Click on transitions like this, pull in right here, drag and drop. And let's see. Yeah. Mm, but I want something else. I will delete those transitions and I will insert animations. Click on the first image. Okay. We'll click here animation and I want combo animation like zoom one. Yeah. The second one I will have zoom two. The third one I will choose zoom one again. And the final one, zoom to again. Let's see what we've got now. Yeah. Nice. But I want to add some text, some title to my movie. That's okay. Let's click on text. Uh, text template. 
let me choose this brand hoodie over here okay i will drag into the timeline and i want it to last only the duration of the first image okay okay but <laughs> brand hoodie <laughs> it's not the text that i want i will delete and i will just type rio exclamation point okay and i will put smaller here let's see okay and goes away now that's perfect for me but what about the manual mode okay if out of beat doesn't make you happy you can go manual you can just click here to clear beats or you can also click in none and the beats will be gone and now you can add a marker whatever you want let me delete this amazing piece of work i will go back to only the audio and let's say i want an image over here because i want <laughs> and so i'll click here in match cut okay it just added a marker here or you can press ctrl j it's the shortcut you can also remove this marker here in remove beat okay but i want to add a marker here ctrl j and over here ctrl j right and now you can do the same procedure you go to your image and snap here when you in the marker that you manually just created and that's how you can create an image slideshow sync it to the music beat if you liked this video please subscribe to my channel to get new content every week see ya